Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna create the 3D parallax effects in After Effects using the updated CC Ball action effect. Now we are inside Adobe After Effects and the first thing we are gonna do is open a new composition. Click on the composition icon then a new composition settings window will appear. Now choose a name for this composition like main comp. The resolution of this composition is 1920 by 1080 with a frame rate of 30 fps. Then hit ok to confirm the settings. Next we need to add an image to our composition. If I select the image you can see its details. Its resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now grab the image and place it onto the timeline. After that make sure the image layer is selected. Then hit Ctrl plus D key to duplicate this layer. So now we have two layers on the timeline. Next you have to right click on the first layer and select pre-composition. Why do you need to pre-compose this layer? There are a lot of reasons behind it detailed below in the description. Now make sure this option is selected. You can also enable the open new composition option so it brings you to the new composition. Ok don't forget to give a new name for the new composition. Honestly it makes your task easier when you are working with a lot of compositions. Finally hit ok to confirm all the settings. Now we are in the pre-composition timeline and it's time to draw a max. Make sure this layer is selected then go to the tools and select the pen tool or hit the G key. Next draw a max around the flying sand. After completing it you see the marks like this. Now go back to the selection tool and select the main composition. So this is our composition if I hide the underneath layer then you can see only the upper layer which is the masking layer for applying the CC ball action effect. Now please unhide the second layer or the underneath layer. To apply the CC ball effect you need to go to the effects and presets in the right tab of after effects. In any case you are missing it you can enable it from the window menu. Now search for the CC ball action effect and apply to the first layer on the timeline. Then you can see the effects in the effects controls. Now we need to make some adjustments in these effects to get a perfect result. So this is the masked or selected area where the CC ball action effects is applied. Now we need to adjust the ball size. Let's adjust scatter according to your preferences because it controls the spacing between the balls. Increase it more for spit out particles. Then adjust the displace parameter to shift or remove particles from their original position. Grid spacing determines the distance between the grid points. You can decrease its value to something like 1 or 2. In coloring you can select grips from the drop down menu. There is another drop down menu for the displace property. You can select diamond in the menu or saturation which is also perfect. The twist angle determines how the particle grid twist around its center axis. Now it's time for the 3D parallax effects. For this effects first you have to right click on the blank area and go to new then select camera. In this camera setting window you can choose a name. Make sure the two node camera is selected which is best for 3D animation. The preset 35 is selected which is good. Now hit ok to confirm all the settings for the camera. After that you can instantly see the camera layer at the top on the timeline. Make sure the time indicator is at the first frame. Next expand the camera layer and go to the transform. Select all parameters of the transform and click any of the selected stopwatches to add keyframes at the beginning frame. Now move the time indicator to the right following your animation duration. Then select the dolly towards cursor tool from the tools. This tool adjusts the camera's distance from the point of interest while keeping the cursor as the reference. When you drag this tool the camera moves closer to or further away from the cursor position. You may notice there is an issue, our main layer or the underneath layer is not working with the 3D camera effect. To fix this issue just click on the 3D cube icon to enable the 3D. CC ball action is already a 3D camera supported effect so it doesn't require enabling 3D. Now if I can drag this tool the camera moves closer to or further away from the cursor position and you can see the whole composition interacting with the camera effect. As we make some changes, keyframes are automatically created at the time indicator position on the timeline. You can adjust it perfectly for a better eye-catching 3D parallax effect. Now switch to the pan under cursor tool. When you drag this tool, the camera pans in the direction you drag. And the cursor remains stationary. Move it around to adjust its setting. Next select the orbit around cursor tool. The orbit around cursor tool allows you to rotate the camera view around the cursor. When you drag this tool, the camera orbits around the cursor position. It's like circling an object while keeping the cursor at the center. Well, now you can switch back to the selection tool. Then click on the left arrow icon to go to the fast keyframe. This time you need to make some adjustments for these keyframes. Hold down the numeric key 1 for the orbit cursor tool and adjust it. 
then hold down the numeric key 3 for the dolly towards cursor tool and make some changes. You can also hold down the numeric key 2 for the pan under cursor tool and drag this tool to pan the camera. Now if you think you need to make some adjustments to the CC ball action effect, you can do it by selecting the pre-composition layer and making the changes in the effect controls. You can change the ball size because it looks little bit big for sand. If you want, you can adjust shutter and the other parameter settings according to your preferences. I know it's a bit challenging for adjusting the CC ball action effect for the sand. Ok, when you feel that everything looks fine, just play the video and see how the 3D parallax effects is working. If you want, you can go to the pre-composition and change the masking position to make the flying sand look better. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about the CC ball action effect in After Effects. You can apply this effect to other images to create your desired 3D parallax effect. Thank you for watching this video until now, see you in the next video.